Right, so it's beer review time once again, and it's another one from our friends at Westrum Brewery. And we're getting near the end of the box now, and I've saved a couple of the, the stronger ones to the end. And this one is their Audit Ale. Hopefully I can get the camera to focus in on it. And there we go. And it is as brewed at the Black Eagle Brewery, Westrum Kent, for over 200 years. OG of 1061, so 6.2% beer. I'll, I'll read you the bit on the back in a minute. I'm going to crack it into a, a brand new glass as well. Well, it, it is brand new to me, but it's already had a had a beer in it. But I don't think it's going to show up too well on there. Let's let's get some beer in it and maybe it'll show up a bit well. I don't know if it's a bottle condition one. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's see if I can get this glass into shot now. don't think it's really going to focus on it, but it is a... There we go, I think we can see it there. A Western Brewery glass. Oh, it smells quiet. Almost a little orangey on the nose. Hmm, but I'm getting a smell that it's really familiar, but I just can't place why it's familiar and what the what the smell is. As weird as that sounds. Right, so I'm gonna read the bit on the back. It says all the ales were strong ales brewed by colleges of Oxford and Cambridge to coincide with the annual audit feast. Earliest references to these ales are from the 16th century. By the 19th century, it seems audit ale was strictly for use at the high table to be consumed by the master, the dons, and their guests. The Black Eagle Brewery in Western brewed all the ale through the early 20th century. Its fame was such that it was supplied to Clarence House for the beginning of the oyster season. This all ale is brewed to the same strength and uses the same ingredients as that brewed in 1938. We also use the same yeast as used in Western ales up until the brewery's closure in 1965. All the ale was perfect with British cheeses, chocolate desserts and Christmas pudding. Or we'll sip it down on its own. Yeah, I'm getting, I don't know. Right, I'm going to dive in. Maybe I can get a bit more on the taste. Hmm. It's quite light in colour, again. It looks kind of a, on the camera to me here anyway, looking at it, it looks almost ruby red, but when I look at it, it's quite almost just a dark amber. Which is quite deceiving. It gives the kind of, the taste is almost like a, I definitely get an orange but it's kind of a lot more deeper than that, there's a lot of richness to it and when you look at it, it almost, if that was sat on a table you'd consider it just a kind of your, your average bitter and it's not until you go in, it's quite a complex beer, it's really kind of, it's rich, it's a bit, Bit fruitcakey almost. It's kind of almost almost virgin being on a on a Christmas beer, but not quite. Yeah, you know, it's because if it had that kind of dark hue to it, I'd be like, that's an instant kind of Christmas beer. But it's kind of yeah. It's like a cross between a an ESB, like a really good strong bitter with that kind of richness and complexity of kind of a you know a high ABV beer which it is but like a like a Christmassy type beer there's a lot of I get mainly kind of an orange note almost like a marmalade type taste could be dangerous it don't it doesn't taste like a 6.2 at all there's definitely you can definitely tell that there's more to this beer, but you could quite easily quaff that, and you know, you wouldn't realise you'd uh, you'd had a couple. I could drink more than one of that, and let's see, is this? 
I'm just trying to check. I couldn't see it on the dots. I'm pretty sure that this one is not gluten free as opposed to where the rest of them are. No, it is not. Kentish hops, Western Brewery yeast, Crystal Malt, Pale Ale Malt, Green Sand Aquifier Water. Oh, just looking at the, I, I always kind of just try and skirt around the, the tasting notes so I don't get influenced, but it's this, the, uh, like the Cyclops thing, I guess, the kind of what it should taste like and whatnot. The sea is tawny brown, it says, which is quite a good, a good description. And the smell of port raisins and molasses. I think that's why I'm getting that, that Christmassy note and that. Yeah, I think it's more that, that portiness, but not overly strong of port. It's like, and that's why it reminds me of Christmas. It's normally a bottle of port that's cracked open at Christmas. It's lovely. There's a lot going on in there. It is really deep and rich. put that up there with I mean all the western beers have been good but that is outstanding I love that that's I'm gonna put that in kind of my my top 10 I think my top 10 has probably got a lot bigger over the years but that is an exceptional beer hmm that's the sort of beer that you could give someone a bottle or most people and know that they're gonna be be happy That'd be as good as Christmas as it is right now. It's just lovely. It does say, oh yeah, it says at the end, all the I read before, I think I don't know if I read the whole lot, chocolate desserts and Christmas pudding. I can see why. Exceptional. I don't know what else to say. So, that has been, if it focuses in. No, it doesn't want to, all the ale. No, it doesn't want to focus. From Western Brewery, absolutely fantastic. 6.2% and a real gem of a beer. Cheers.